here we are going to draw the rectangular prism with the dimension of the 4 cm and the length and width and 6 cm in height. Draw the plan and elevation of the such rectangular prism. So we will just draw it first of all the rectangular uh, which is a plane. So first of all draw 4 cm length by using the scale. Yes. Then by using the protector find out the 90 degree over here. Put a dot and draw an line which is passing through it. Okay. Similarly here uh, come on the second point another point B and again again by using the protector measure 90 degree and draw a line. Now next measure the 6 degree uh, 6 uh, centimeter and put a dot and join these lines. Similarly here measure the 6 centimeter and measure the line. Then draw the line and join the rectangle which is the 4 cm by 6 cm. Now I want we want to find out its elevation of the prism. So what to do then? First of all take little bit distance in the your rounder. Rounder should be fixed. Then hold it on the point D and put an arc. So keep the distance same and put the another arc. Yes. Now extend these lines up little bit extend this line so you will get the one point here and extend over here you will get the another point here so from this point again draw a line EF so EF is the parallel to the DC or the CD this is the first step you will do so EF is parallel to the CD then extend the EF to the line L so this is the line L yes now next, considering this EF, EC as a distance in a rounder. So taking this distance, hold it on this F and draw an arc like this. So that will be intersect at line L on P. Then afterwards again, taking the FB as a distance in the rounder. For that your rounder should be fixed and the tight. Again, Hold the another arc. Again it will be intersect at point Q on the point L. It will be intersect at point Q on the point point L. Now again coming back. So we have two arcs over here. Now this is the 6 cm. By taking the arc again we have this line PQ will be what 6 cm. Yes. Now here we need to bisect the point from the EF again make a semi uh, semicircle keeping the same distance again on the point F make a semicircle keeping the distance same again on the point P make a semicircle and again point on the Q make a semicircle yes we have the four semicircle now we want to bisect the point E uh, we want to find out the uh, bisector of the at point E F P and the Q how to do this again putting on here and placing taking more than half distance uh, draw an arc similarly come on the F point taking the arc put in two arcs over here one and two similarly come to point P putting the two arcs over here one and two similarly coming on the point Q putting the two arcs I have kept here the distance to be same now from this point just join here e is the point just draw the line which is passing through it yes similarly from the f point draw another line which is passing through it then from point p draw another line which is passing through it to the s and to the s q again draw a parallel line uh, perpendicular line to the q from the here now what to do here we want the elevation of the 6 cm height should be the 6 cm here height is width and height is 6 cm now in your rounder take the measurement of the 6 cm exactly this is the measurement of the 6 cm now come on the point E and put an arc which is we have already drawn from again from F point F draw an arc 
from point P draw an arc and from point Q draw an another arc. So we are getting the four points here. One, two, three and the point four. So join these points. After joining these points we have the H, G. Then join the line S, R. Yes. And so here we got the again two another rectangle. So whatever we have uh, already drawn that is called as a plane. So from the uh, given question from this is the front elevation and this is called as the side elevation. So give the name as per the uh, question. So it is the it is a prism where this is the front elevation and this is the side elevation. So all the best in the students prepare for the same. Thank you.